Welcome into the channel, guys. Today we're putting together a recipe for beef bourguignon. Let's go ahead and get started. Here you see me pre seasoning my beef, and I'm using beef shoulder. I'm going to go ahead and let this sit for a while. I've already pre cut everything. We're going to go ahead now and put everything together. I'm frying up my bacon and I'm searing my beef for three minutes on each side. I'm now going to remove it from the pan. And in the same pan, I'm going to go ahead and saute my carrots and my onions and my garlic. Now that that is done, I'm now going to coat my beef with a little bit of flour because I want to return it to my pan and get it to form a bit of a crust on the outside. So this is what you see me doing here. And again, just a bit of a crust, not too much. I'm not going to cook it for too long. Now that that's done, still using the same pot, I'm going to go ahead and add in my beef broth. And all of that dark that you see down in the pot, that is full of flavor. So you do not want to clean your pot. You want to just keep going because that is going to really, really help when it comes to flavoring up this dish. Alrighty, so now we have our beef broth added in. And to my beef broth, I'm going to go ahead and add in my tomato paste and my better than bouillon. And just a tip guys, I found that the better than bouillon beef um, flavor is really, really good when it comes to marinating your beef meats also. All right, here you see me adding in some fresh thyme. And I'm going to bring this to a simmer. Adding in two bay leaves here. And some red wine. Returning my bacon pieces back to the pot. Returning my beef back to the pot and I'm going to go ahead and cover and let this simmer for a minute so while my pot is simmering I'm going to go ahead and prepare my mushrooms in this pan here you see I have a little bit of butter and I'm adding my shallots and my mushrooms and I'm going to go ahead and saute them down My pot has actually come to a boil. So now I turn the heat down on it a bit and I'm adding in my mushrooms and my shallots. I'm now going to go ahead and return my carrots and my onions back to the pot. Give it a quick stir. And I'm going to go ahead and toss in my tiny onions. I'm now going to cover this and let it cook in my oven for one hour and 40 minutes. Alrighty, so once you remove it from your oven, guys, you want to let this sit for a while. This will help with the thickening of the liquid. I did not want to add any cornstarch or anything in it to do that. I'm just going to let this thicken on its own. So I'm going to just cover it and let it sit for a little while, but I did want to let you see what it looks like once it was removed from the oven. Yeah. 
All righty, so here we go. And what I decided to serve mine with is egg noodles. And I got to tell you, this is the recipe to try if you want to take your beef stew, which is really what this is. If you want to take your beef stew up a notch, try this recipe. I'll see you guys on the next one, y'all willing. Shalom.